What is going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video unboxing and review. Uh, this bad boy uh, finally came in, waited about a week from customs. Uh, this is from a newer statue company called Transcendent Studios. This is their first project. It is of course Lord Frieza versus Prince Vegeta from one of the most iconic scenes that really transformed Vegeta from a villain to a good guy. So here's the art box, looks quite cool. You know, showing Frieza, Vegeta, the statue. Very cool. So this company, uh, this is their first project. They've already shown off a few additional projects. They got the androids in one fourth, which looked really good, as well as uh, Pecan vs. Janemba statue, and they've also teased a Beerus and Whis statue. So, actually, let me just... Yeah, I don't need to flip this upside down. So this is to finish my DBZ 1-6 scale collection, really. This is the one piece I needed, because I have Frieza fighting every single villain, or every good guy, except for Vegeta. And no company was making one, so I finally... Uh, Transcendent Studios came out with this, it looked awesome, so I bit the bullet, and here we have it. Alright, so this is mostly Vegeta. Here's Frieza. And of course the base. The base is somewhat heavy. A giant plastic baggie. Alrighty, so there's only a hundred of these made. Here is the art. Lord Freezer vs. Prince Vegeta, 1-6 scale villain takeover edition. 66 of 100 units. So very low edition size. Uh, most newer companies don't have a huge edition size until they, you know, gain popularity. So I'm sure uh, their future statues are going to have many more, but this is a very limited resin, very unique, and looks very cool. So here is the COA. Typical DBZ, uh, like credit card type COA, which I'll display with the statue, of course. First, we're going to get out Lord Frieza. Good weight to him. So here he is. A little bit of dust on his face. It honestly looks like he's flipping you off. <laughs> good texture work. Looks good. Alrighty. Actually, it goes like this. wonder if it'll be easier to put the tail on after. We'll want to put Vegeta first. Interesting. So here's Vegeta. I like what they did on his battle damage where he was key blasted by Dende. The way they showed that. The texture works looks great. There's that. Just, just like that. So it's just like that. There's Vegeta's face. So he's obviously getting punched in the back. 
like so. So his leg goes into Frieza there, there, and the tail on the head to secure everything. And looks like this is more blood, I believe, to insert into Vegeta's mouth. Material. I'm gonna have to look at pictures. I'm not sure where this goes. Is it? There's not like a hole in the mouth, so I'm not sure where that goes. I'll have to look at pictures. Here, of course, is the logo. outside this little blood piece which I'm not sure where that goes that is it maybe the blood just goes on the freaking base you know blood splatter anyways here it is folks uh, let's go ahead and remove these boxes so we can dive a little bit deeper all right so here we have it i'll mill down so you can get a good size comparison but here it is, Transcendent Studios Frieza versus Vegeta. So I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons I see of this. So first let's look at this base, and I'll do some close-ups, but it's basically a black dragon scale base. And it looks good. Then you got the Namek land with some rocks and everything, and that looks really good. So the base looks great, I definitely like that. Frieza does look great. I think the likeness could be slightly improved. And I'm not 100% sure on this translucent part on the purple. I'll do some close-ups, but I swear I can see some numbers on the inside. Like, you know, they're numbered. I think that could be better. I would like to see a little bit more shading on Vegeta's uh, blue, blue part. There's not a ton of shading. The texture work is great but not a ton of shading. The texture works throughout the entire statue is amazing. You know, even Frieza's tail, his skin, you know, a lot of texture work, the muscular detail, very well done. I do think that was good Vegeta likeness. I think Frieza could be a little bit improved. It's an okay weight, uh, not super heavy. The COA is decent, could be better. Uh, it's just a, you know, standard DBC COA, nothing fancy like Tasumi or anything. The statue was priced pretty good. I honestly don't even remember pricing. I think it was like $300 or something like that. Uh, but it's a very low edition size, very unique. Uh, you know, I do like, you know, this is basically when Vegeta dies for the first time. So let's just do some close-ups real quickly. Yeah, I'm not sure where the additional blood goes. I don't know if it's replacement blood 
were just supposed to go on the base. But, you know, check out that face. Looks pretty good. Got veins in the forehead, the blood coming out. See, and there was this additional blood in it. I think it's just replacement. You know, it's like, if that came off, am I, you know, it's also separated too. It's three pieces actually, and that's three. So I wonder if it's just replacements or, or what. There is Frieza's face. Like I said, it could be improved. I mean, you obviously can tell it's Frieza. I think I would have preferred to see a more, uh, an alternate portrait as well, where he's open mouth. He does have a sinister look, you know, and he's easily taking down Vegeta. So check out this, the like translucent resin. So you can see the inside, which I don't really like too much. And like, look at that part right there. You can see like, what is that circle inner parts? Like that's how they attached it. There's that one. And then there's the arm ones. You know, like, they could have been done better. I understand, you know, people wanting the translucent resin uh, for Frieza. Although, in the anime, he didn't technically have translucent. That's just them adding more realism, really. I think, I like the translucent resin on a 1 fourth, but a 1 6, I don't think it's necessary, to be honest. I mean, it is cool. It is unique, but I'd prefer just regular on a 1 6 scale. And plus, it would match my V cage better. Scale looks good. You know, it looks 1 6 scale. Good sized base. You can see next to my hand. You know, and there's size comparison, obviously, to larger scale statues. So it's a small DBZ. For me, I love 1 6 dioramas. So here's the seam line with the tail. Obviously, it's a very noticeable seam, but this is from behind, so you're never going to see that. And that's the only noticeable seam line. But look at the texture work on that tail. That looks fantastic. Even on the back, look at the detail. Very well done. You know, even like how Frieza's foot's gripping that part of the hill. That looks great. The base detail looks good. Very cool. Even Vegeta's bottom foot has detail. Typically, you won't see that on a statue. Yeah, and if you remember... Yeah, you can even see a little bit of where the dome connects. That's why I'd prefer just a full piece so you don't see those connectors. Because they have to do that when it's dome, it's a separate material. It's not the same as, you know, the rest of the statue where the VKH is just the same. It's just painted different. Yeah, I like how they did that uh, shirt tear right here. And you can see Vegeta's six pack. That looks very well done. The texture work definitely looks really good. And the paint job overall looks fantastic. You know, just look at Vegeta. He is just in severe pain from getting choked by Frieza. And they did a great job on the choking. It really does look like he's getting choked. So definitely a great design. Still not sure what this is. I think it really just is replacement, you know? Or am I supposed to, like, insert that into the mouth somehow? I don't know. I mean, I, I could just be on the base. He coughed out blood, so. I'll look at pictures and ask uh, the owner. The sculpt looks great on Frieza. Uh, outside, like I said, the face could use some improvement. I would have liked an alternate portrait. Alrighty, folks. So I just took the Transcendent Studio Vegeta vs. Frieza, put it in my collection, and here it is. The wall is finally complete. I uh, waited quite a while to get this boy, but I'm glad he's finally in the collection. He does look quite awesome, no doubt. It always feels good to complete something, you know, and if you look at this bottom row, so we have first form Frieza, Frieza fighting Gohan in form two, form three fighting Piccolo, 
And then final form fighting Vegeta, then Goku. And he's kicking everyone's butt, pretty much. The only one I don't have is Krillin, but that's fine. Krillin is not a must-have. The only Krillin I really need is Tsume Krillin, uh, which will be mine, as well as that Krillin, Kid Krillin. But here it is. It does look quite awesome, uh, no doubt, next to other Frieza statues. Uh, so scale looks appropriate. You can definitely tell there's, uh, you know, detailed difference between this and VKH, you know. The VKH are amazing and they look like they're from the anime, where this one takes it up a notch and adds extra detail. You know, like I said, in regards to texture work, paint job, uh, the underbase, which I really like. I love underbases. The original VKH don't do underbases. They started to do it when it was in the Boo Saga, and now all of them have it. And I've been telling companies for years, always have an underbase. It really adds to a statue. And so this one's a fantastic underbase. You know, it's better than, for example, the KD Vegeta verse 19 uh, underbase. That one's very simplistic. Where this one, you have the whole dragon theme, which looks great. And you don't need the dragon head, uh, just the, you know, the black so it's not distracting. And it looks awesome. You know, the texture work and everything. So obviously this does fit in a Detolf, which it's currently in. Uh, Detolf is my preferred choice of freaking cases when it comes to Dragon Ball Z. God, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but yeah, for DBZ16, I love Detolfs. I think they work great. They look really good. You know, every statue gets its own space. Now, some obviously take up two, and the bigger ones up top, that simply won't fit. But this definitely looks really cool in the collection. Uh, and I like how when on display, you can see both Vegeta and Frieza's face. That's not always the case. You know, for example, that one, I can't see Gohan's face. And, you know, the other ones, I just see their side faces. That, you can't see Frieza's face unless you turn them. So I like how Transcendent Studios made it so you can see every character in all their glory. And they did a really good job, no doubt. Uh, I, I was kind of a little worried when I first inserted Vegeta and he was just held with that tiny little peg. I was like, oh my gosh, he's going to fall off. But then, of course, I forgot to insert his leg, which also pegs in. So he's definitely very secure. No worries of anything. He's not too heavy where I would worry about lineage. So overall, it's a fantastic looking statue and I do recommend it. Uh, very much looking forward to future Transcendent Studio statues. They do have a Facebook group. If you just search Transcendent Studios that you can join, I also recommend just joining my Facebook group, DBZ Resin Collectors, where I'll post, you know, all the latest and greatest of statues, including theirs. Uh, their owner's fantastic. He's great customer service. He actually, uh, you know, I asked him what the extra blood was for. And by the time I took this statue from my main room to this room, he responded. And he said, it's just spare blood in case that blood falls off. So... It is nice they include extra blood. You can also display it on the base if you want to, but I'm not going to. Purely because when I do dusting, that thing would fly off instantly and I'd probably forget to remove it. So I don't want to risk losing it. So I just put it back in the box. But it is very cool. They included replacements already just in case. You know, and that material was very soft because it needs to bend to go over that tail. So it is very cool they included that. So great customer service, no doubt, by Transcendent Studios. I uh, definitely highly recommend them and definitely recommend this statue. In terms of overall score, I think conceptually they did an amazing job. I would have liked to have seen an additional portrait. I think I also would have liked to have seen a version that was not done with the translucent parts. Uh, you know, so I could match that. Because honestly, if there was one that was, let's say, 50 bucks cheaper that wasn't tra uh, the translucent, I would have just bought that one instead so it could match those guys. But you can't blame them for adding extra detail. You know, I also have that one that's uh, translucent. Uh, that one's a little bit darker than those one, than this one. But they definitely did a fantastic job. I would rate the overall statue like a, a 7.8 out of 10. Uh, you know, like I said, the likeness could be a slightly different better. The translucent parts could have been slightly better. But for a first statue, it's a fantastic uh, statue, no doubt. And definitely one that is, you know, not leaving my collection. Uh, it's definitely one I wanted to have all Frieza kicking everyone's butt down there. Because I love Frieza. I love how tough he is. And this really showcases him, you know, 
killing the Prince of All Saiyans. So fantastic job, Transcendent Studios. Uh, I'll leave their email as well in the description below in case you guys do want to order this. I believe there's just a few left of the original 100 run. After that, sold out. No reruns. It'll be hard to get, I'm sure. So definitely jump on board if you guys are interested. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.